the AI journey in India has actually been going on for some time. We have worked on Indian language AI. There is a Government of India program called Bhashini. There is an initiative at IIT Madras called AI for Bharat, which has focused on language. And one of our uh, pioneer case use is in the Supreme Court. Uh, if you, if you, I don't know whether any of you heard Supreme Court Chief Justice Chandrachur on Constitution Day. He, there are more than you know, 29, uh, 20,000 judgments that have been transferred into Indian languages, and all that is using AI. So AI has been in use in India for quite some time in the public space using these, uh, you know, digital public, uh, you know, in intelligence. And it's also working in different areas. Right now, there's a pilot going on uh, for assisted language learning in 500 schools, where children are learning to improve their language skills using an AI solution. We have a product to, uh, you know, read, uh, you know, handwritten scribbles of children on, or, or teachers of what has happened and, you know, beaming it up directly using AI. Uh, UPI, the payment system now has a voice interface in Indian languages, so you can tell in Hindi that you want to make a payment to somebody. And there is a very important program at the Agriculture Ministry to bring all agricultural knowledge, including community knowledge, at the fingertips of farmers using AI. So it's not just theory. As we speak across India, in the public and the private sector, AI is actually being used to solve fundamental challenges for people by reducing complexity and improving access of knowledge to everybody at the time they need it. So what is it when you think about AI in the public space or when you think about a digital public infrastructure view of AI, what is it that we are trying to solve? AI has basically three parts to it. It has, of course, compute, computing capability, and we all know how expensive that is. You need to have GPUs. They cost millions, I mean, hundreds of thousands of dollars per GPU. And there's a big global shortage of that. So there's a whole compute challenge. We have the challenge of data and relevant data. Because the data which is there in the current models is essentially English and stuff on the internet. So that's the bulk of how these models are trained. Whereas our challenge is how do we have many Indian languages and stuff that is outside the internet. In other words, the data challenge in India is very different from the data challenge in the West. And then we see a lot of models. You know, In the AI world, every morning there's a new model that is announced, which is better than yesterday's model. So it's a rapidly changing world. So we have a world where we have, uh, in India, we have a lack of uh, low resource language data. We don't have enough data on Indian languages. Uh, compute is very expensive and inaccessible, and we don't have our own foundational models. So we don't have our own foundational models. So how do you deal with this and bring AI to our challenges? And we think that the AI strategy should be use case led. In other words, outside in and not inside out. Because most of the AI conversations happening today is inside out. My model is bigger than yours, or whatever. We're not into all that. We're saying, how do we, OK, all this is great stuff, but how do we make a difference to the lives of people? How can the common man improve his life with AI? And we can only do that by having very good, compelling use cases that make a difference to people's lives, which is the whole DPI philosophy. It's not about you know, razzmatazz technology. It's about how do we make a difference to people's lives. And we think that once you have clear use cases we should have smaller, we can use smaller models. One of the discoveries of this AI stuff is that a small model trained on the relevant data gives you better results than a generalized model which does everything. Now, general, generalized models are great for the consumer. The consumer wants to ask DALI or, or, or uh, BARD or whatever it is to do something, it has to be highly generalized. <laughs> <laughs>